So, this time around, I'm here to talk about the next novel in the Ed Noon Detective series of books. Yeah, I, did, I try to read one of these each month, and this is, I don't know, 20-something? I forget exactly. This particular one is the Doomsday Bag, which is one of his more secret agent-y books and detective-y books, though. It is still... A lot of detective in it, though. Now then, I am going to try to do something, things a little different here. Basically, I've decided that instead of recording a reading from the book separately, I'll just sit here and read it while I'm sitting here anyway. So now, from the first chapter of The Doomsday Bag. The day the bag man disappeared, several less explosive things were happening in Washington, D.C. While noisy starlings chattered like magpies along the ledges, high wires and rooftops of downtown capital city, the president was soothing the ragged nerves of about 3,000 representatives of the Students League, screaming for the end of the war in Southeast Asia in a huge auditorium somewhere along Independence Avenue. I never did find out how he made out with that bunch. I myself was safely tucked away on the third floor of the Senate in a sealed chamber giving so-called expert testimony in the matter of wiretapping, bugging devices, and other big brother methods of businessmen in these United States of America. Congressman Charles Cornell, D. Wisconsin, had impaneled me because of my reputation as a private investigator. Mr. Cornell, tall, Gray, distinguished, the way an owl would be surrounded by crows, had put together a subcommittee with full presidential approval and was masterfully and gradually building up enough evidence and informative data to successfully steer a new bill through Congress. One that could be labeled, Invasion of Privacy, How Far Can the Man Who Hires Your Services Go? Can that gives you at least a little bit set up of what you about the book. You know it's set in Washington, D.C. You know that someone called the bag man is going to disappear and that the president is involved and a uh, senator is involved. Yeah, basically this whole thing is a bit of Cold War era spy thriller mystery thing. General plot, you know, as you saw, Noon is in Washington, Ed Noon, to report to a Senate committee hearing when all of a sudden the Secret Service man who carries around the bag containing America's nuclear launch codes vanishes. That's what the Doomsday Bag refers to. And this, of course, is a real thing that actually really exists in the world, which is at least this, which, you know, was something that certainly would have been. Very a scary thought back in the days of the Cold War era that it would vanish, and even today it wouldn't be a good thing. Back then, with the commies and just waiting to pounce, or so everybody believed, you know, it basically it was a national disaster. It's naturally the president who asks Ed Noon to help him find the missing bag man, because you know Ed is secretly working for the president on and off for the past few books in the series. Then he you know, basically gets into a fairly typical sort of plot where people go around trying to kill Ed as he investigates, and there's a, only a lot more spy tries or ways of killing him. And sure, there is a standard shoot at him method, but there's also a secret bomb hidden in a pen, and you know some stuff, lots of stuff involving secret communist agents and all that kind of crap. So, you know, it gets, it's a fairly, even though it's a spy one, there's still a lot of mystery in it, which is good, because, frankly, I don't like spy novels quite as much as mystery. So I guess, in a way, spy novels are kind of a subset of mystery. Anyway, even though this particular book, it, you know, I don't think it's one of the best in the series. I still think it's a really good one. And better than some of the other ones in the series I've read, that's for sure. And it's got some good plot twists. I mean, I did, couldn't figure out who the bad guy was going to be up until Ed figured it out and told us in the book. 
I don't know. There's no way of knowing. Was a government conspiracy with the president's political opponents trying to distract him or discredit him? Was it the Russians, the Chinese, the Cubans? Was it somebody else? There are all kinds of possibilities. And we didn't find out until the end, which is good. The overall, this made for it to be a really entertaining book. You know, it's still a bit of Cold War era fluff with some of the Cold War era politics that I don't really give a crap about. And I don't really care for the whole commie bashing stuff. I mean, you know, what is this now, 20 years or so after the fall of the Soviet Union, nobody really cares about communists anymore. And frankly, I'm not entirely sure how much point there was to the war in Southeast Asia. I mean, if we had just kept our noses out, and kind of, things wouldn't have made any difference. But this being from you know, right around Vietnam War era, written from the point of view of a well, conservative in some ways character, who you know definitely is all anti-commie. Yeah, that's just I'm getting off track. Anyway, I said I don't entirely agree with the politics of it, but I still really thought it was a good book. So I'm going to give this one four gas masks. And I will definitely be reading the next volume next month, especially since this one has a cliffhanger ending. Because well, apparently, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but you know, there's this one of those endings where it sure looks like Ed is in trouble. And I sure hope the next book explains how he's not in trouble if he's not dead. And... You know, I'll re be reading that sometime next month. And I've got a couple other things I'll be reviewing this month before the month is over, hopefully. Until then, keep reading. I don't really need to come up with a good catchphrase of some kind. Bye. If you like this video, please click subscribe or watch some of my older videos. If you think the book I reviewed sounds interesting, buy a copy. There are always links to the Amazon store in the description for this book and any other books I mentioned. If you have any suggestions on other books I could read or any other comments, queries, insults, or anything else you want to say, please feel free to mention it in the comments section.